Welcome to iLecture Online. To give us some practice dealing with matrices and determinants when it comes to working with eigenvalues, we have some exercises that look like this that give you a little bit of hmm, pre-taste of what we'll run into in the future. Let's say we have a 2 by 2 matrix A, very simple, and here they're asking us to find the value for this. This is the symbol lambda, and that's a symbol usually used for eigenvalues, so, but that's not what it means at this point, so just assume that this is just a constant. And we want to find what the value of this constant is in such a way that if we take the determinant of A minus that constant times the, what we call the identity matrix, 2 by 2 identity matrix, because that's what that little 2 means, and when you take the determinant, you then set it equal to 0, or it is equal to 0. So let's go ahead and work this portion out first, and then we'll take the determinant of that and set it equal to zero, and then solve for the constant lambda. Take the matrix A, so A minus the constant times the identity matrix is equal to, here we get three, zero, one, minus three, and we subtract from that a constant times the two by two identity matrix, which looks like this. Now when we multiply this constant in here, we get the following. This is equal to 3, 0, 1, minus 3. And then minus the matrix, lambda, lambda down the diagonal, and zeros and 0 here. Now we can go ahead and subtract this matrix from this matrix. This gives us 3 minus lambda for the first element, 0 minus 0, 1 minus 0, and minus 3 minus lambda. And now we're going to take the determinant of this matrix. So now we take the determinant of the matrix A minus lambda times the identity matrix, which is equal to, now we take the cross product here and subtract from that here. So we get 3 minus lambda multiplied times minus 3 minus lambda and subtract from that. When we multiply those two, we get 0, and that must equal 0 which means that 3 minus lambda multiplied times minus 3 minus lambda equals 0. Now, I don't like all these negative signs here, so I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by a negative 1, which makes these all into positives. Of course, negative 1 times 0 is still 0. So we get 3 minus lambda multiplied times 3 plus lambda equals 0. Now let's multiply what we have on the left side. So 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times plus lambda is plus 3 lambda. This is minus 3 lambda, so the middle term disappears. And finally, we have a minus lambda squared equals 0, or lambda squared equals 9. And of course, there's two solutions to that. We have lambda equals 3, or lambda equals negative 3. Thus, for those two constants, lambda equals 3, or lambda equals negative 3, will the determinant of this equal 0? And so we've accomplished what we set out to accomplish. We were looking for that unknown constant lambda such that the determinant of this combination here equals 0. And there's the solution, lambda equals 3 or lambda equals negative 3. That's how it's done.